Hey guys, so there's something interesting here uh, on the official Dragon Ball Legends website. This is only, as far as I know, available on the Japanese version of the website, where they had this Japanese pre-stream, uh, and they had the singer of uh, Genkai Topa Survivor singing, basically during that pre-stream before uh, the main Reveals and Stuff livestream that happened um, for the JP version. Um, but basically, this website is going through all of this, all of the events that are happening during this celebration. Um, I think they're calling it the 40 million download celebration, the Legends Festival. There's a million names for the celebrations going on right now, but this is like a map that's outlining everything going on for the celebration. Uh, this is like the 100, um, or the, the, the 10 multi free ticket banner that we have right now. This is um, the present campaign. I think this might be a JP only thing, to be honest, where like it's a retweet thing and you have a chance to win like one of these things. Then we obviously have the uh, LFUI Goku it's coming to the game, and it's, like, it's listing all these points that are part of the celebration, right? So it's that. Uh, then we have number four, which is the uh, the song. The background music is playing. You know, the uh, Genkai Topa Survivor song is playing at certain points uh, or parts of the game. Uh, then we have um, just different. Uh, this is like the the GT banner, and then the the Super banner where it has Super uh, transforming Super Vegito, and then the GT banner. It's like the, I think it's Super Masters Pack pickup for GT and then for Z. I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, down here. Uh, then we have just a ton of crystals they're giving out every day for presents. Um, and then down here, there's new missions that we're talking about. Down here, this is uh, old events that are coming back that give you very good characters. Like we see the Rising Battle, Vegeta Rising Battle Broly down here. Then we see... Um, the reduced or the the zero energy cost for the story uh, mode in the game. I think it's th throughout the first what six parts of the story they they cost zero energy for new players. So that, that's always good. Number ten. Um, this is if uh, depending on how many crystals you use throughout the year, you get a certain amount of gacha tickets, which is what we see happening on obviously the the main game. So yeah, that's number ten. And number eleven is uh, the the retweet campaign where it's like within one hour can you do 10,000 retweets or something and then you get rewards in game for it i don't believe we've actually had that happen yet um but those are the 11 things that um we've seen so far and then down here there is a 12th thing this is not this is just coming soon we don't know what this is so right here it says um you know legends because uh, this whole celebration i guess is te technically in japanese it's called the limit breaker celebration so it's like le legends still um, has not finished breaking its limits, is what this is saying. So, we're still waiting for no whatever number 12 is. Um, and I feel like they wouldn't really put this here unless they were specifically going to be teasing some like major thing. Um, I think one of the things you could definitely make a case for being number 12 here is maybe the EX Zenkai Blue Frieza, because um, they didn't actually show him anywhere on here. And he was in the live stream. He was in the JP live stream, and they actually tweeted out uh, his information. Well, not the full kit, but that he was coming uh, on the English Twitter account. So we know for sure he's coming. Uh, when exactly that is, we don't know, but I imagine it's probably going to be at some point over the course of the next week. But um, he could be this number 12, but I'm thinking the number 12 is probably going to be a new character, um, which is interesting because the sort of word... I guess building up the fact that this Goku would sort of be like the most hype thing of the year and that this guy was sort of like the the last major character release they're doing this year and if you guys are aware they typically do have a Christmas slash New Year's you know big time celebration slash banner LF step up thing happen um, every year last year it wasn't an LF it was actually uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta the purple Goku and the red Vegeta um, they weren't LFs, but that was still like a mega hype release for the game, right? Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta are very, very hype characters. Um, so I think there's at least like a 90% chance we're probably going to be seeing another one of those like super hype banners a month from now, pretty much. Uh, it is the 28th of November right now. And I imagine, you know, close to the end of the year, maybe around Christmas time, it'd be like the, the 24th or 25th we'll see um, whatever the next big time unit is going to be. So I think that's what it actually could be. This might be what that is talking about down here. And in terms of who that could be, I mean, we have a few options here, right? We have like uh, the master Ultra Instinct Goku, which there's like almost a 0% chance that, that happens because Goku UI literally just dropped. We could see Evolution Blue Vegeta. That is possible. Um, maybe it's possible we see Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I saw a lot of people saying that. 
Now, me personally, I really don't think we're going to see Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta this year. Otherwise, I feel like they would have just dropped him during the anniversary because they did a heavy focus on GT during the anniversary. Like, right, th there was the, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, there was the Omega Shenron, um, then there was the EX Sin Shenron, and I feel like if they really wanted to capitalize on the GT hype, that's the time to drop Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who is like, you know, it's like, how can you ever go wrong with that? Um, but since they didn't do that, I feel like they're just not going to then say, oh, six months later, now's the time to drop him. Like, no, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I don't think Gogeta um, Super Saiyan 4 is coming for um, the celebration at the end of this year. But it's possible. I mean, anything's possible at this point. So we have that. Um, we have, honestly, very limited amount of options left. I mean, who else can they drop? Blue Gogeta? Like, are they going to finally pull the trigger and drop Gogeta Blue during, <laughs> during the end of the year celebration? Um, I, I guess they could. Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine getting this in one year? We get uh, Vegito Blue, we get UI Omen Goku, and we get Gogeta Blue all in one year. And by the way, if they did that, that would be pretty much a month gap in between UI Omen Goku and like whoever this big character is going to be. I think Evolution Blue Vegeta is a big, big candidate for this. Um, just because if you notice, there was a, like a very glaring hole in the units that they dropped in this celebration with UI Goku in where there's almost no Vegeta representation whatsoever, which is very out of place for Dragon Ball, I think. Um, so I think maybe this banner being centered around UI Omen is fine. And then maybe, you know, a month later we go back to this and then all of a sudden we have, oh, v Evolution Blue Vegeta is coming out and like this is going to be like a Vegeta centered banner. And maybe instead of the Pride Troopers being like the, the secondary units, we have like 17. We have maybe an Angel Golden Frieza and uh, maybe something like, uh, I don't know, like a any of the other characters that millions of characters they could release for this maybe a, a new hit from universe 6 that has like the, the time cage ultimate or something like that um but yeah i, I do think that uh, this number 12 down here just based off the wording here like this this wording is very it's very teasing um and i don't think they would put this here and i don't think they would tease that there's even more coming to the celebration if they didn't have something big planned. Like, yeah, it would be nice to get the EX Zenkai Frieza. I'm the biggest Frieza fan in the world. But it, this doesn't feel like that sort of level because they've already teased that, right? They've already teased that that guy's coming. So I feel like they would just put it here if that if this was what that was for, right? Um, so to me, it only makes sense that this is going to be for like a new character. And if you take a look at the banner date for the UI Goku, like this is the last celebration of the year, right? This is it. Because the UI Goku banner step up goes until the 12th of January. <laughs> so it's going through the end of the year. They're not going to not release a banner for New Year's. I'm telling you right now, they're not going to skip New Year's slash Christmas. That is the biggest time in Japan. Um, in terms of like people spending money, right? That is the time. They can't not capitalize on releasing some ridiculously hyped character during that time period. It's, they, they, they just can't afford to. So uh, there's a few options again. I mean, MUI Goku, which I don't think is going to happen. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which I don't think is going to happen. Evolution Blue Vegeta, very possible. Gogeta Blue, it's a meme at this point because every, every time they tease a new unit, everyone always goes, oh, it's Gogeta Blue, it's Gogeta Blue. I mean, it actually is possible at this point. I mean, if you ask me now, like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say for sure, but you know, it, it, it's definitely on the table here, but uh, you guys let me know down below what you think about this. Uh, again, I don't think this is on the global or slash English version of the website. I think this is only the Japanese version of the website. So keep that in mind if you're going to take a look for this yourself. Um, this is the link. If you want to type it in yourself, you can visit it. But uh, yeah, this is what it says here. And it does look like it's teasing something big coming soon. So I guess we will find out. Um, I would say maybe within the next two weeks slash three weeks because Christmas New Year's is, is pretty far away still. It's only it's still like three and a half weeks away from now. So uh, we got some time for sure. But um, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one.